Man, I can't believe this nigga transformed again. Goofy ass writers thought they was cooking, but the only thing getting cooked is me. And this nigga got wood dragons and shit. Oh nah, his back different. Oh shit! <sighs> I can't lie to y'all, this entire season of Demon Slayer so far feels like it was designed to make Akaza look like a walking hell. Because at the beginning of the season, we saw how Akaza got completely holed by Doma and Kokoshibo. One false move and that man was about to be a descendant of Jiraiya. And then this man made one of the most emptiest threats I've ever seen in anime. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> but you see, I was okay with that. We were just gonna get Akaza in the lab all off season, work on a few things, and then maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to smoke on that Doma pack. Stop the cow. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, it is with great sadness that I bring to you that after watching episode 9, this man Akaza might have gotten his rank stripped by the Sage of Six Paths. And before y'all flood my comments calling me an idiot and stuff like that, hold on. Let me cook real quick. <laughs> Do I believe that Han Tengu could beat Akaza in a 1v1? She, I don't know. Is this nigga serious? But what I do know is that if I was a Hashira and I had to choose between fighting Akaza or Han Tengu, I don't know about y'all, but I'm choosing the guy who's actually going to box with me and isn't going to spam wood dragons with his endless chakra. And we already seen with Ren Goku that if you're him enough, Akaza will most likely convert you into a demon. He's not gonna do some Meliodas shit where he just smokes you without even thinking about it. Uh-huh, see, now that I said it like that, I got some of y'all thinking right now. Shut the fuck up, nigga. But while things aren't looking good for Akaza right now, things are looking even worse for Tanjiro. Because as soon as the scene cuts back to him, bro is getting cooked! And as soon as Tanjiro thought he figured something out, Hantengu was like, Man, shut your bitch ass up! Oh! Hantengu got these dragons moving with maximum speed and efficiency. This nigga's bag is different. You put him against demon hybrids, it's not working. You put him against demons with blickies, it's still not working. He got Tanjiro running for his life like Patrick Mahomes in the fourth quarter. But the absolute play of the game that had me like, oh nah. This nigga's different. Was when this man was tired of Tanjiro proving that he's a part of the Weave Gang. So this man creates four small dragons, grabs Tanjiro by the arm, and eats this nigga. Like I literally wouldn't blame no Hashira for losing to this upper moon. Because the versatility of this character is absolutely insane, bruh. And then look at his face after he ate him. Man said the job is not finished. The job's not finished. The writers were in their bag when they made this character because this man could literally do everything. And y'all gotta realize that this is the world of Demon Slayer. This is not Naruto or Fairy Tale. You gotta get it where you can get it. So would you rather lose to Akaza, a demon that could box? Or would you rather lose to Han Tengu, a demon built like a Dark Souls boss? Cause me personally, I'm not losing to neither one of those niggas. 